Number 47, at a construction site, a pipe wrench struck the ground with a speed of 24 meters per second. So let's draw a building over here. So it says the a pipe wrench falls and reaches the ground with a speed of 24 meters per second. Let's choose upwards the positive direction and let's say that at ground we have zero meters. So this is where it is zero meters. So if we choose that upwards is the positive direction. So the final velocity of the pipe range is minus 24 meters per second, right? Since it's going downwards and downwards, it's the negative direction. Letter A, from what height was it inadvertently dropped? How long was it falling? Let us say, draw a lot of graphs. Okay, so this is a constant acceleration problem. And when we have a constant acceleration situation, we can use three different equations. Let's write them down. It, they are x equals to x0 plus v0t plus a t squared over 2. We can also use v equals to v0 plus a t and v squared equals to v0 squared plus 2 times a delta x. So the technique that, that, that I always use to find out which equation we have to use is just to mark the things that you don't know. For example, the final position of the range is 0 meters, right? Since we choose that the ground is 0. So x, we know x. The initial position over here, we don't know. So let's mark it. The initial velocity of the pipe, it is zero since it, let's say it's zero, starts from rest. So we know. The time to hit the ground, we don't know. The acceleration of the gravity, we know. And the time it took to reach the ground, we don't know. The final velocity, we know. The initial velocity, we know. The acceleration, we know. And T, we don't know. So V, we know. V0, we know. The acceleration, we know. And delta X, we don't know. So if you want to find the delta x, which gives us the height of the building, so we, you, you could use this equation over here. If you want to find the time it took to reach the ground, you could use this equation over here. So it's really simple when you just mark the things that you don't know. This is what I always teach to my students. So let's use this equation, isolate delta x. So in letter A, we have v squared equals to v0 squared plus 2 times a delta x. So delta x is equal to v squared minus v0 squared over 2 times a. Let's remember that delta x is equal to x minus x0. So v squared minus v0 squared over 2 times a. So the final position over here is zero. We chose that at the ground, the position is zero. The acceleration is equal to minus 9.8 meters per square second. Why minus and not plus 9.8? Because we choose that upwards is positive and downwards is negative. So since the acceleration points downwards, it should be negative in this case. We could have chosen the, the plus direction to be downwards and it, it would give exact, exact, exactly the same results. But this is a choice, right? Usually you say that upwards is positive. So let's solve this. And minus x o equals to minus 24 squared minus 0 squared over 2 times minus 9.8 and then we find that x0 is equal to 29.4 uh, meters so this is the answer of letter a the height that the pipe range was dropped so letter b letter b we will use this equation over here so v equals to v0 plus a t so t equals to v minus v0 over a and this is just 
the final velocity which is minus 24 minus 0 over minus 9.8 and this leads us to 2.45 seconds so this is the answer of letter b letter c draw the graphs over here so let's first uh, draw the graph of y versus t and why we are calling here x so it's the same thing over here so let's draw for x since we are using x as the vertical direction so x is in meters and time is in seconds and we know that the pipe range starts at the top of the building which is 29.4 meters so we have here 29.4 meters and we also know that when the clocks reaches 2.45 the pipe range reaches the ground so the position is a second degree uh, equation you see in function of time so this is a equation of a second degree the position is a it's a second degree equation so it should go like this it's not a straight line it's a parabola a part of a parabola so this is the sketch of the first graph the second graph let's see okay so we will do the same thing this is the velocity in meters per second so the initial velocity is zero so the initial velocity is zero and when the clock marks 2.45 the, the velocity is minus 24 this is minus 24 so since the velocity is a first degree equation, it should be a straight line. So it should be something like this. Let's suppose this is a straight line. And the final graph, which is the easiest one, is the acceleration, right? So this is the acceleration versus time. This is the acceleration in meters per square second. Do not forget the unit over here and the acceleration is constant it's just minus 9.8 minus 9.8 and you just have to draw a horizontal line right it doesn't matter when it ends because it's forever the gravity is forever so this is the answer of letter c and that's it